What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Auras walkthrough. Yes, we are here, and we're speaking in English, we're playing in English and all that stuff, and yeah, well, in our last episode, we actually went through the, uh, what was it, the Petalburg Gym, right here, yeah, and uh, we got to help uh, Wally capture Pokemon and all that stuff, we managed to get our English language right here, and now it is finally time to go straight out right here, um, I don't think nobody's gonna stop us, yeah, nobody's gonna stop us. So here we are in Route 104, and what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to be battling a few people, capturing a Pokemon here and there. I didn't capture anybody just yet, so um, I guess you could say I'm taking it a little slow just because of the uh, the capture card that I'm using right now. But let's go right ahead and battle some Pokemon trainers. As you can see, one guy's running away from us, and he's just looking. He's like, leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so everything's working smoothly right here, and here we are going up against Youngster Billy, and he's going to be coming out with his C-Dot. Alright, you little slut. C-Dot. Now, a lot of you guys are asking, am I going to be bringing out some Pokemon that, you know, I had in the last few, uh, or in the Pokemon Emerald? Well, short question, or short answer is yes, I will be, I will be capturing some Pokemon that, you know, I've captured, like Shroomly, uh, what was it, Raiden, Noob Saibot, and all that stuff. But since this game is, you know, real easy with the with the levelings, I might use them from time to time and all that stuff. But what the goal is is to try and build a team right here uh, for Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby. And uh, right now, as you can see, oh yes, kicking butt, taking names. This guy's hardening up. I don't know why. So let's go right ahead and use another quick attack. Come on, Sage, do it for the beige. Yeah, do it for the bitches right here. Again, I'm still trying to get used to playing this game right here, especially on a 3DS and all that stuff. And, uh, well, I do have another Pokemon right here, and it's Poochyena, and hopefully it will actually do me well. And, uh, just a bit of a disclaimer, guys. I do apologize if this game is a little laggy. Just a little bit, because, again, this, this game is going straight from the internet. So, the amount of episodes that I'm coming out with depends on who's using the internet right here at my place. And, good God, Poochyena nearly, uh, nearly faints right here. So here we go with the Thunder Fang, nearly defeats Talo. And uh, you know what? I'm going to have to go straight for uh, a potion right here. And luckily I got 11 potions. Again, I, I'm surprised that we actually get 11 potions in the beginning instead of just one. If anybody can comment down below and let me know what that's all about, then that'd be great too. And uh, well, as you can see, um, Poochyana is actually doing really well, especially since it does have Thunder Fang. Again, remember guys, when you start off this episode or when you start off this walkthrough right here, the Pokemon depend or the Pokemon you choose depends basically uh, dictates what Poochyena will have as its first move. Um, I may have gotten it a little wrong in the last episode, but if you do have a Trico, yes, you're going to get Thunder Fang. If you get a uh, what was it? A Mudkip, it's going to be Fire Fang. And uh, what was the other one? Ice Fang. Ice Fang for uh, Torchic as well, so just keep that in mind. Now, as you can see right here on the bottom screen, or wherever the, I wherever I put this thing on, you can see that you can find different types of Pokemon right there. It's a silhouette. So eventually, they're going to grow, and it's going to be, you know, a multiples and multiples of Pokemon right there. So what I'm going to do right now is, uh, well, i got to go to the Pokemon Center. So let me go straight to the Pokemon Center, get healed up, and then I'll be right back, guys. All right, nice and quiet. Nice and easy. There we go. It's at level three. You don't have to worry about it. Disappearing. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. Okay, so before we continue on right here, guys, I kind of want to introduce you to the next team member, and that is Ralts. And, uh, well, it's a female Ralts. Okay, so we picked the right Pokemon right here. Uh, many of you guys already know that I ha actually had Ralts on my team back in Pokemon Emerald, and now in Pokemon uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Zapphire, you can actually get either both male or female and evolve it into their male-female counterparts. Now, while I was recording uh, outside of this, I was trying to capture Ralts at level 13, thanks to my Poke Gear right here, but it teleported just like a friggin' Abra, so... Yeah, didn't really work out. It really, really didn't work out. Also, I was capturing Pokemon outside of the screen, too, and BAM! Would you look at that? So, there it is, guys. Our first Pokemon on our team, our first official Pokemon, is Ralts. Look at that. 
Look at that, Ralt, the uh, feeling Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see, it senses the emotions of people using the horns on its head. This Pokemon rarely appears before people, but when it does, it draws closer if it senses a person's positive disposition. That's always good right there, guys. That is very, very good. So, as many of you guys already know, we are going to nickname this guy right here, Gaia. And, uh, well, am I going to... Let's see, guy, Gaia. Well, there it is. Now, am I going to capture a male Ralt? Well, now it's possible. It's super possible because if you do this, click onto the Ralt's uh, icon on the bottom screen right there and push search, you will be able to find another Pokemon right here. And this time, you might even find a Pokemon with a better move. So now we just, the thing is, we're gonna have to try and find this guy. Apparently it's downstairs right here. And there it is. And it has the same leveling and everything, synchronized and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find it and capture it. You see, guys, I'm very informative. Very, very informative. And here we have another Ralt. Now it's easy. It's, it's a lot more easier to, to, to find and all that stuff. And it, it's a male Ralt right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm actually going to, you know, capture this guy and name him, what was it, uh, Gaia number two. Because we already know Pokemon Platinum. It evolved into a majestic freaking uh, Garda or Glade. Yes, my bad. And yes, we're gonna capture him with the Pokeball right here. So here we go, Pokeball Go. Look at that. Stay in the ball. Stay in the fucking ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. And that's how you do it, guys. Bam. So uh, there we go. We got both male and female Ralts. And uh, well, let's see what the homie has. This. Oh, uh, it's yes. We're gonna nickname him. This guy is going to be Gaia number two, as we already know. And, uh, well, let's see. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. We're going to space this thing out. And, yeah, we're going to be we're gonna be classy. We're going to use uppercase. We're going to use uppercase to call this guy not Gaia number two. So there we go, guys. Gaia number two. Welcome back to the team right here. And, uh... Oh, it's been transferred to the box. Of course, I've been capturing Pokemon off screen, so that was the the whole idea right there. So I'm gonna be going straight into the well. Somebody's well. There's a Pokemon hiding. That usually happens. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna just uh, transfer a few Pokemon into the PC. As you probably already know, I got myself a Zigzagoon, a Zigzagoon, and a Poochyana right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna deposit. Well, I'm gonna deposit these guys. And you know what, Poochyana is going to stay, and Gaia right here is going to stay as well, just because uh, it is the Pokemon I'm going to be using for the team, so let's go right ahead and uh, heal our Pokemon right now. Oh yeah. Come on, heal my Pokemon. There we go, okay. And as many of you guys already know, I do like uh, I do like using different Pokeballs to capture my different team members, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing for other Pokemon. Uh, further along the the road right here. So here we are back in Route 104, and we've we haven't ca captured all the Pokemon, but as you can see, there's a Zigzagoon waiting for us right there. I'm just gonna run through because I I, I already caught a Zigzagoon, and hopefully this one actually does have a the what you call it move the, uh, the 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 pickup move. And uh, well, there's a Wurmple right there, so I'm gonna run away, run away. Run away. Okay, so you guys already know who this guy is. Let's see, Mr. Briny. Ho ho ho! My pretty Pico is as as full of energy as usual. That's good. That is very very good. Okay, so here we are walking, and uh, well, there's a Pokemon there waiting for us, and uh, well, we're gonna get the berries first because, oh, well, why not? Let's get some berries right here, and let's grab this one right here, and uh, bam! Look at that, we got ourselves Pekka Berries. Gotta love the Pekka Berries, okay, so, oh, there's the Pokemon's waiting for us right there, so let's go right ahead and see who this Pokemon is by clicking onto the screen. And that happens to be a Wingle, so I'm gonna try and capture it. Okay, so here we are. Wingle looking all uh, majestic and all that stuff. Now, I did hear that you can actually have a uh, shiny chain, I think. Uh, a shiny chain uh, just to try and find a shiny Pokemon right here and uh, well I've never done it before 
The only times I ever, I've ever gotten a shiny Pokemon was through breeding. Uh, believe it or not, when I was actually playing this game uh, early on in the year, I actually, I actually uh, managed to. What was it? I was trying to breed a Meryl into a, 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 an Azuril because you do, you do need an item to actually get it. And then once it hatched, it, it turned out to be a shiny Azuril. That was like, that was amazing for me right there because it was like, wow. Like, I didn't think I was going to get a shiny Pokemon, but that was luck right there. And here we have Wingle, the water and flying type Pokemon. This is a Pokemon you can actually use, but it's not that powerful. As you can see, Wingle has the habit of carrying prey and valuables on its beak and hiding them in all sorts of locations. The Pokemon rides the winds and flies as if it was skating across the sky. Nah, I'm not going to nickname him right now. Eventually, I'm going to nickname most of my Pokemon right here. Alrighty, so, first and foremost, Guy is back on the team, so we got to, we got to, we got to switch train this Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, start battling a, a rich kid right here. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Well, that's good. Ain't that, ain't that freaking good. So here we go, getting challenged by Rich Boy Winston, and he will be coming out with his Zigzagoon right here. And, uh, well, yeah, go. Now, the now the uh, the Ralts that I was taking on beforehand was at level 13, and uh, it had, what, what was it? It had Double Team and Teleport. Obviously, it teleported away, but that was actually a good Pokemon I could actually have, but, uh, you know, it had Teleport. Don't want to mess with that kind of stuff. And here, oh, yeah, here comes that Growl attack. No need. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so he's going for a tackle. Zigzagoon tackle right there. Let's go straight for the absorb attack. Who needs a, who needs TM, or who needs potions when we got this shit? There we go. And, uh, well, he's going to be waggling his tail, looking all, all handsome and all that stuff. And here we go again with another absorb attack. Yeah, buddy. And uh, I nearly beat this guy right here, so here we go again with another tackle. Gotta love this guy right here. Okay, let's go. Another absorb. But of course, Rich Kid Winston is rich, so he's gonna be using full restores like assholes right here. Okay. There we go, Sage. Sage of the Halo right here. And uh, let's go with a quick attack. Oh my god, this guy's not. Yeah, he. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's not going down real easily, so I'm gonna have to actually go with Absorb Attack plenty of times because, shoot, I don't wanna waste, uh, I don't wanna waste my potions right here. And there we go. And, uh, well, he's gonna be using a Growl again, but, oh yeah, that's the wrong move right there. Here we go. Absorb for the win. Eventually, Sage is gonna learn some better moves, but right now, we're working with what we got. And, uh, well, look at that. Sage of the Halo gets it. Level 11. Hello. And, uh, Gaia number... Or Gaia learns Confusion. So now we don't really have to switch train or anything. It actually... It can actually learn this move uh, a lot quicker and all that stuff. Okay. So, just like always, guys, we're going to stop right here. And, uh, we're going to be going into the Paddleberg Woods. And then, uh, you know, in the next episode, you know, it's going to be fun. Right now, I'm just testing out. I'm just testing out everything right here and uh well eventually hopefully it won't be laggy it was kind of laggy in the beginning but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode right here again guys it's gonna be a lot entertaining now that i can actually use the american version of uh of pokemon omega ruby so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time <laughs>